So we we called the bias of the markets last week and we had a decent week, not too many trades mind. Uh, beginning of a new month, end of the previous month, tricky time to trade. Um, we called short a couple of positions, we pulled them in. And um, what we did nail on though was the dollar strength and the dollar cycles developing. Um, we picked out in the dollar basket that we can see uh, intermediate level two into three. And we can see the on the adverse USD CAD moving higher, USD CHF moving higher, AUD USD moving lower, Euro AUD moving higher, Euro NZD moving higher. These are my top picks at the moment. Uh, you may think that's strange then. Why did you go blooming long on GBP USD when you're so strong on the dollar? Well, simply just trading patterns here, guys. You know, uh, if you think, one of my mentors said to me, it's not what you think, it's what you see. So that is absolutely true to the theme. GBP USD, I see that as in line with the market cycle higher. And we're looking for harmonic patterns in line with the trend. So, you know. There we are. Don't want to get too cute with it all, but there we go. So first up, we have USD CAD. USD CAD. We know we're in the second cycle. Oh, great. My, none of my uh, etchings have saved. So I wonder how out of date these charts are. So we are in the first zone. We've seen this first zone of consolidation and three hits to the high at the moment. Now, obviously, looking at this in isolation, you'd get excited and start shorting that. Fair enough. Maybe I can see two clear days of rise. So for me tomorrow, if this is setting itself up properly, I'm going to be expecting this guy to show me three days of rise. Oh, what have I done there? Excuse me one second when I've messed with the screen. What have I done? Let's max it out. There we are. Your screen sharing is paused. Okay. You are screen sharing. Okay. So let me get this out of the way. I don't want that there. Um, so <clears throat> where was I? So we're looking for trades off the 50 EMA. We're in level two consolidation. Believe it or not, we got that. Um, if I zoom in here. It depends how you trade this method, the market maker's method. There are, you know, people that I learned this with uh, are absolute advocates of the uh, EMA trading, you know, trading off the EMAs, sticking to the rules. It's not really for me, but we have tapped it. We've come down and tapped the 50, which is the entry signal. So this is a way, two days of rise, but we're at the highs. So naturally, you'd like to see a bit of a discount in the old price action. Just trying to drag the menu to make my screen bigger. There we are, that's what I'm looking to do. So if we drill down, let's have a look in the 30. So in the 30 at the moment, let me out a little bit. What can we see? So we can see two clear days of rise. The ADR is on this particular pair. So it's gonna be the average of these three divided by three, which, let's have a quick knife, or 62, divided by three. Uh, about 70 a day, it should do. Three times ADR is about 280, it's done 150, 160, so there's still plenty of meat left on the bone. <clears throat> We've made this first push out. We are along this anyhow from 134.60, uh, 133.60, I forgot what we're long at. We're long, ultimately. That's it, 133.46, I believe we got in. We got some real decent entry. You saw the ABCD, ABCD, Gartley entry, anchor point, cycle one, cycle two, expect the third high. So we are pushing at the moment, pushing past the 800, but I can see one, two, three, that's very sneaky in there, but that's how it is. So it wouldn't surprise me if this reverses a little bit now. Um, moving on, let's see the other things. So we've got CHF JPY pass, because I can see the whole pattern. NZD JPY, still a hope. 
where are we trading? We're trading off the targeted entry. So the targeted entry is exactly where price is at the moment, off the 50. Insert. Sorry, Sorry my computer's just having a bit of a funny one today. Your screen sharing is paused. You are screen sharing. Yeah. As I was saying, a little bit temperamental, my computer. So uh, bear with me while I navigate through all of this. So it's it's too much effort to draw a square around this, but ultimately we're looking for trades off the 50. This is a really perfect setup again. I will be writing this one down. It's slightly risky because you're trading in level three and any moment in time the price can reverse, but it's it's serving us up a higher low point. It's serving, it, it's serving up to us. We've got a one and we've got a two and then we've got a break of structure one, two, off the 50, the nice green hammer. I'm keeping that up for tomorrow. Um, Euro CAD. So we're in the middle of consolidation. One, I don't like this 50 50 trade pass. Let me turn off the, uh, the window. AEDJPY be similar to NZDJPY. It's not actually that similar at all. So this particular one is below the 50. It also created the ABCD structure and fell away. It's not as clear, therefore, there is no real edge you have, and the pattern's clear there. CHF, QBP CHF coming off here. We've seen three up, and we've seen one, two, and starting a three lower. Personally, this particular pattern, yeah, my charts haven't been updated, but I'll show you the example of the three harmonic in the markets. So this swing, which formed an ABCD, I'm just going to copy it and put it here. So you can see it's border straight down there. So we've had three harmonic move complete. And then we've also had a harmonic move, which is here, there to there. It's repeated again there to there. So no real bias edge on this particular one. So definitely stepping aside. And um, the market makers pattern for this particular trade is one, two lower and one up at the minute. Pass, ADNZD, what are you up to? Not really doing much. We have a bias short here. So ideally trades in line with the trend, one, two up, one down. A EMAs are starting to just edge over the edge sort of feel to them. All of them, in, in fact, um, the 800 even starting to round off. And that just gives us sentiment growing. Uh, we're looking for shorts. Missed entries last week are up here off the 200, which is crazy in hindsight because it looks so easy. But there's so many things going on at the time that, um, yeah, there you have it. USD CHF. So USD CHF is particularly aggressive in relation to the dollar basket looking particularly bullish. We can identify here cycle one. Cycle two, I did amend this to make it look more, how can I say, updated because as the cycle evolves. So you, you don't just stick with your idea and be stubborn. If the markets change, you need to change. And if you can't recognize you need to change, then you're at a huge disadvantage. So in this particular consolidation zone, that's quite hard to pick out, if I'm honest. That'll be tough for the layman to pick out. And so with this, before, because I know the rules of the EMAs, I know that that's right. So what I'm thinking here in this consolidation is consolidation because this low is taken out here. It served us up three pushes. That makes me think, is that complete? But then I believe I think about the three in one factor. And this is ultimately break of this structure one. <laughs> that does leave obviously a retracement we can move from here to here back up to here no problem so we'll go with that for now but bigger picture not so sure nzd usd sharing itself so we have this as a questionable one pattern on the way down is not questionable at all we can see that and on the way up we expect higher prices but we did have this this Gartley pattern, A, B, C, D in yellow, and we've moved away a harmonic move here. So the question is, these are still ultimately lower highs. 
lower low, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high to equal high. And then we've come down in threes, one, two, three. So you'd imagine price is going to slow down a little bit. Is it going to continue? Not too sure. We need to see this high taken out. It could easily happen. It could easily happen. It's uncertain pass. CAD JPY. <coughs> like many JPY pairs, we're in the peak formation pass. Cal CAD CHF is one of my favorites. Favorite because of the scale of the ABCD structure that it sits within. So the ABCD pattern is probably best seen from the weekly. Yeah, I know that looks really zoomed out and it is. I don't know what's going on here. Bear with me. Let's zoom in. So you can see the ABCD pattern. We'll zoom out. You can see the yellow ABCD pattern, massive. And we're just right around that completion point. And you can see we've done three to the low, one, two, three. And you can see that's also in the form of a one, two, one, two, three to make three. So I expect higher prices from here. <clears throat> GPP AUD is really, really nice looking. Uh, level two or cycle two, expecting higher prices. We've taken out this area here, one, and then on our way to make two. So these are longs. Now GBP USD. What we've got here, we've got trades off the targeted entry. So we're looking for trades off the targeted entry. That's something I didn't actually notice. <clears throat> this is a consolidation zone. We're trading off the lower consolidation zone. That's part of the rule book. We're towards the upper end of the cycle. So if we do move out from here, it would be a really bullish statement. Um, the pattern, this is level one consolidation, expecting level two rise. And uh, we shall see how this one sets up. But ultimately, in the lower time frame, there was a Gartley pattern. Euro AUD, one of the uh, superstars so far, fantastic looking chart. Behavior is impeccable. It's really one that we're, that, I mean, the thing is, we're already in it. So you can't triplicate positions. You can keep adding in. But so far, I, I was quite aware that we saw three straight red uh, greens up. So I'm not really getting too involved. And we're at the upper end here. So I don't want to get caught out. I can see three reds up. I'm not going to uh, just play it because I like it. It has to show me something. Um <clears throat> And it's not showing me enough, even though I can see clearly the one, the two. It's a long. I'm going to leave it up. I, I may enter this tomorrow. Now, Euro CHF is another sort of generational pattern, much like CAD CHF is how I see it. But I can see a one, two, and I expect a three. But what this pattern has served out to me so far, the smoke signals are that the um, the market makers pattern is completed to the downside. So level one, level two, and then level three. Um, now, this was pretty much similar to which one was I showing you earlier? What I read USD CHF. This second zone of consolidation looks very similar. So we shall see. But ultimately, yes, the pattern is complete. One, two, three to the low here. So it's a huge opportunity. And again, this one goes back, I think, eight years. So if it's come down for eight years, there could be buying pressure for eight years. Something you need to turn your attention to. AED CAD. AED CAD setting up for tomorrow, from what I can see now it's pretty easy to see the pattern here one two three one two three to the low double bottom so i quite like this it's caught my eye and um, if i'm looking i can see one two three to the low one two three up and if i look at the previous left hand side i can gauge that we're due to start the pattern higher one two three to the low and i expect one two three to the high Euro GBP waiting for this one to come off a little bit. 
I still expect this to come off and make the big ABCD. I'd be very surprised if it if it doesn't. That is quite a strong move out the blocks. It might might to do it like one, two, three. Might want to squeeze higher. Um, we'll have to keep a close eye. So at the minute we're below the lows of consolidation two, and expect high prices. Gold spooling at the minute off the targeted entry. Let's borrow this here. The other charts were marked up with this. Ah, oh, you bugger. There we are. So targeted entry, moving higher, second cycle up. Now this is the Mona Lisa business end. So we've got um, AUD, USD. This one is so hard to get involved with. Uh, but we are seeing the one, two, three start to play out. Now, I don't see this as one. I see this as one. And then we're starting to, because it's such a stretched out old pattern. But we completed the harmonic. Go back in time and look. Have a look at how this pattern stands out in your eyes. You've got first zone, you've got the second zone. So you know the buying pressure is lower. There's so much weight of market lower. It's hard to fight against. You've got to think about it like in terms of water and waves. You know, the weight of the water coming down. You're not fighting that off too easily um so yeah cascading lower at the minute um probably need well you definitely need a pullback before you can get in but looking really good um gbp jpy it's a peak and our pass peak pass euro nzd really wants to get into this this one's this one's calling my name as well um second cycle higher Got to be careful. Second cycle higher potentially, or it's a bear top. You've got to be careful sometimes, but I believe it's the second cycle higher because this M never really left this zone, albeit briefly there, but I don't believe that's enough. So we've got the Dartley that's come down. We've got to change of character and I want to see a one, two, and then I'll be in. And there we have it, folks. So I hope these uh, sessions you know, are good value for you. And if you have any questions, please reach out. And if you haven't already done it, please join my personal YouTube channel at Melons Trade. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers. Bye.